Thank you for viewing this video on the Roush Cleantech Generation 3 Propane Fuel System Depressurizing and Priming. This video will show you the steps to depressurize the fuel lines. The fuel system includes safety features and shutoffs to segment fuel system areas. When the vehicle is keyed off, solenoids close off the fuel tank from the supply line and the supply line from the fuel rail. The system also incorporates a manual shutoff located on the fuel tank supply valve. For this procedure, we'll need 7 16 and 14 mm wrenches, 7 16 and 14 mm crow's foot, torque wrench, and leak detecting solution. To begin, park the vehicle outside at least 35 feet or 11 meters from any type of ignition source. Next, remove the fuel tank cover plate. The location of this fuel tank cover will change among vehicle's platforms. Close the manual shutoff valve. This is located on the tank supply valve. Disconnect the fuel pump electrical connectors. These are the black and gray two-pin connectors located at the fuel tank access plate. Start the engine and allow it to run until it stalls. This purges the supply and return fuel lines of some liquid propane. Note that this procedure could set fault codes. Loosen the return line union. This is located on the return line. For Bluebird buses, this is located along the front of the tank, and early Generation 3 buses had this union above the transmission. For E and F series vehicles, this is located along the left-hand frame rail. This will empty the return line and fuel rails. Now the supply line needs to be emptied as well. There is a supply solenoid located up at the engine that shuts down fuel flow when the vehicle is off. By keying the vehicle to start, it opens this solenoid, allowing fuel from the supply line to go through the rails and then out the union on the return line. Make sure to key the vehicle off after 20 seconds to prevent the vehicle from cranking. Continue keying the vehicle to start until the hissing stops at the return line union. Tighten the return line union to 19 to 22 newton meters or 16 to 20 foot pounds. Once the fuel system has been depressurized, disconnect the negative battery terminal. It is now safe to perform fuel system repairs that do not require the fuel tank to be opened. After fuel system service has been performed, it is time to prime the fuel system. Start by connecting the negative terminal on the battery. Make sure that there is fuel in the tank. While at the fuel tank, Ensure that the manual shutoff is closed. Connect the fuel pumps, ensuring that they are fully seated. Next, key the vehicle to start. Once you hear the fuel pumps activate, slowly open the manual shutoff valve. This will help ensure that we pressurize the lines without tripping the excess flow valve on the tank. Once the vehicle starts, you can open the manual shutoff all the way. If the vehicle cranks but does not start, Close the manual shutoff and repeat the process. Lastly, leak check every fitting and components serviced in the procedure. We recommend using a bubbling solution. Do not use any corrosive soaps to check for leaks. The vehicle is now ready to return to service.